way for you know OTT shows. Yeah, yeah. Uh, our director. Uh, I mean, a lot of credit goes to him. Hey everyone, welcome to News Nine, and this is Vanshika Vasundhre Singh. Uh, today we are celebrating 10 years of permanent roommates, India's most beloved web series. And what's better than to you know having a conversation with three OGs of the OTT world, Shishir Sir, Sumit Vyas, and Nidhi Singh. Hi guys, welcome to News Nine. Thank you. Hi. 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 So, ten years, ten glorious years of permanent roommates. How is how does it feel? Feels great. A little bit old, but great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Nidhi? Just feels like yesterday. Honestly, I know ten years is a it's a it's a very long time, <laughs> and so much has happened. The world went into a lockdown, and you know all of that. And the, yeah, but keeping everything in mind, it seriously does feel like yesterday, and it's very, very, very special. You know, TVF kind of paved the way for you know OTT shows. हमने कभी imagine ही नहीं करा था कि you know we'll we हम phone पे कोई show या कोई movie देखेंगे. What was your first thought when you first read the script? First thought was that the script is very fresh. Uh, it was. Uh, uh, TVF is also attempting a certain kind of comedy which was not very common, uh, which did not we, we we were not used to seeing that. It was not you know, slapstick or it was not very verbose in the terms of like it didn't have just punch lines back to back, but it was more situational. Yeah, uh, the comedy that they were attempting, the way they wanted the drama to unfold was a lot was based on timing. You know, the pauses, the reactions. uh and these things were not very common in tv shows or films at that time uh everybody was aware of them they watched it in other films and series abroad but nobody attempted it in india because everybody thought that the audience will not get it uh and uh, tvf was i think the first one the smartest one to understand that the audience gets it uh the audience is not unintelligent maybe it's hard work and it's uh, it's a risk and nobody is willing to take the risk nobody is willing to experiment so we should you know so they did with whatever limited resources they had at the time uh and uh, yeah and we were able to make a show which went on to be the first web series of this country yes and in a way you know uh, accidentally or however it, it sort of paved a way for all these filmmakers who were dying to experiment who were dying to you know tell new stories and new ways of explore new ways of telling stories you know and uh, that that pathway was sort of opened those flood gates opened and i think a very smart thing that tv update was to present it in a in a manner that the audience would understand what kind of a show mm-hmm. it making so that was very really, very important for uh, the audience to understand and plus tvf of course understood how to go about presenting the show to to the audience although they were also in a territory that they were not sure whether this will carry will will work will not work we are taking actors who are uh, probably for the first time doing something of that kind on that kind of a format so we were also kind of you know treading on uh, on on uh, on a line that was very thin either this way or that way but uh, it it was more that way than this way <laughs> what about you nidhi i uh, very honestly speaking at that point in my life i was knocking every single door and you know i really wanted uh, you know to get projects as an actor i had done one uh, like it was like a funny sketch i had done and you know it had kind of gone viral and everybody was kind of seeing me as a comic yeah and uh, you know they were calling me for these uh, scenes and i mean i was very flattered i got called by really like great people so obviously everybody take took notice but i was like you know hungry like i was like no no i want to get something which is which is something i can sink my teeth into and you know like an interesting story and and then out of nowhere a bitch who's a very very close friend of mine called me and she said that you know uh, there is a script it's a long format uh, but you know the, the process will be different this time because i had done a sketch with tvf before yeah and uh, she like uh, 
So I'm like, what is the process? Like, oh no, no, you have to audition. So I said, okay. So I audition every day. I'll audition. I went. I went in. Little did I know, Sumit walked in. I was like super intimidated by because you know he was like absolutely spectacular. I'd seen a lot of his plays, and immediately I was like, oh my god, I don't don't know. I don't know it's gonna work, and you know all of that. But I was also very very excited because the moment I read the script, I thought I instantly had a had a feeling that this script is really interesting. And I think once anybody who's come to know Aruna, and once anyone has met Aruna, you understand that you kind of don't need to question, uh, you know, the like, will it be carried forward in such a way where you know you want every work that you do to be carried forward with this nurturing uh, energy, right? That's what a creator has to bring to the table, where you feel that your work is not going in vain. You know, you're not putting all this effort and extending yourself as a performer and then the creator doesn't really care what happens he you know he will drive it through if he believes in it and so and and so instantly when i read the script i knew that the script is very interesting of course sam biso they were all like you know they had poured their heart into it they were so involved so i don't think anybody was thinking of the by product at yeah. that time everybody was uh, very excited to make it and uh, literally hardly any budget but common floor which was the um, brand that came and supported this story and you know they really really supported us carried us forward and uh, they also i think everybody was very supportive and everybody was doing their best and giving their best and you know uh, yeah whatever could be most favorable to it uh from bringing on own wardrobe to changing in a you know like a like an innova you know yeah. th- th- that kind of stuff we were like doing everything because we just wanted to make it because it was so exciting and getting to work with like for me shishir sir like, oh my god so i was just very excited about the entire process of it and uh, what actually happened was the shows were being released the episodes were being released as they were being shot yeah so we also started getting live feedback which was never like none of us had ex- i think experienced that i had only experienced it a little bit like when that viral thing had happened yeah. but you know constantly getting live feedback and you are still making the thing it was so new yeah uh, and um, yeah so it was the entire process like it's unlike anything else really. and not being paid was unheard of <laughs> you guys didn't get paid. Uh, no, I mean, really, um, yeah. it was uh, as Sumit in the earlier interviews also said that you know petrol money be agar mil jata to kuch to jeb mein aata. You felt that okay, you were being paid, but here there was there was nothing on the table, and we did not question them. We all came on board for the very fact that the script was very good, the writing was superb. we didn't know how they were going to shoot it we took uh, i mean we had the confidence in them that yes of course i'm sure they're going to do a damn good job but nobody questioned ke hey, yaar you know dheere se bhi kisi ne nahi pucha ki bhaiya isme paise milenge ki nahi hum chup rahe sumit was i think was the only person who actually had the courage to ask ki bhaiya petrol ke paise de do warna <laughs> तो हमने किसी को हमने मतलब हमने तो पूछा ही नहीं हमने तो ऐसे ही कर दिया चलो करते क्या फर्क पड़ता है नाटक ही कर रहे हैं जैसे हम हिंदी नाटक करते हैं उसमें पैसे ही नहीं होते तो वी डू इट फॉर द लव ऑफ एक्टिंग वी डू इट फॉर द लव ऑफ थिएटर वी डू इट लव ऑफ प्लेस यहाँ भी हमने सोचा चलो ये एक नाटक है इसको भी कर लेते हैं क्या फर्क पड़ता है नहीं मिलेंगे ना पैसे ठीक है अगले सीजन में मिल जाएंगे या किसी और शो में मिल जाएंगे तो कभी कभी कुछ ऐसा करना पड़ता है और उसमें कोई दिक्कत वाली बात नहीं आई एम नॉट कंप्लेनिंग दैट वी डिड नॉट गेट इट इट्स नॉट अ कंप्लेन टुवर्ड्स स्टीवीएफ एट ऑल इज जस्ट शोइंग माय अप्रिसिएशन टुवर्ड्स देम दैट दे हैड द करेज टू डू समथिंग ऑफ दैट काइंड एंड वी वी टुक दैट करेज फॉरवर्ड टीवीएफ की राइटिंग में मुझे सबसे अच्छी बात ये लगती थी कि कॉमेडी 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 करके एंड देन देयर वाज दिस हार्ट वार्मिंग यू नो देयर इज दिस हार्ट वार्मिंग सीन वेयर यू जस्ट हैव दैट रियलाइजेशन कि ओ दिस इज लाइफ that's what, that's yeah. what life is i have always told people who are tired of watching television with the same kind of shows 
watch permanent roommates is a stress buster it is <laughs> it is i agree 101% there is no quite not because i have been a part not because sumit and nidhi are there it is a show that will comfort your senses to a great extent you will have a laugh and it's a genuine laugh that you will have it's not a put on laugh for permanent roommates absolutely absolutely that man and sumit and nidhi are so bloody good and you okay. want to mm-hmm. see them you just want to see them all the time and that is what the stress buster is all about they are so good they are so comfortable don't make me cry now yeah the chemistry <laughs> is so wonderful they they complement each other uh, to a great great extent and i think that is the beauty of of the show memorable characters hai aap logo kabhi aap log road pe chalte to koi bolta nahi ki are tankesh are mikesh mikku yeah yeah oh god does how good. many so times have you been called tanya instead of nidhi <laughs> i don't know and i i i don't res- like obviously i'm like doing my own thing so i don't respond immediately and then a friend of mine or you know my brother or my mom like they're talking to you and i'm like oh <laughs> you know it's like oh tanya that's what they were saying tanya that i was like oh shit i'm so sorry that happens just just now i was at the goa airport and somebody's like so but where is mickey i'm like i don't do like <laughs> i'm like he's with his family like doing his thing <laughs> ये बहुत बड़ी बात है मैं पिछले शो पिछले इंटरव्यू में मैंने कहा था कि 10 साल के बावजूद लोग अगर पूछते हैं अभी भी पूछते हैं आपसे yeah. कि आपने परमानेंट रूममेट्स का शो दो तीन सीजन किए हमारे लिए एक एक्टर के लिए बहुत बड़ी बात है बहुत बड़ी बात है एक्चुअली एक्टर के लिए सबसे बड़ा बड़ी उपलब्धि ये है कि उसका एक रिश्ता कायम हो ऑडियंस के साथ बिल्कुल और उसी के बाद वो उसको उस रोल में या और किसी रोल में देखना चाहते हैं यू नो इट्स लाइक अ रिलेशनशिप नाउ नाउ वी नो यू यू नो लाइक ऑल द एक्टर्स दैट वी लव ओवर द इयर्स एंड वी वांट टू सी मोर ऑफ देम वी हैव अ सर्टेन रिलेशनशिप विद देम दे आइडेंटिफाई अस एंड दैट हैपेंड बिकॉज ऑफ परमानेंट रूममेट्स यू नो लाइक अ लॉट ऑफ न्यूअर एक्टर्स समटाइम्स दे कम एंड दे से ओ यू नो आई हैव डन दिस पार्ट बट देन आई एम गेटिंग अनदर पार्ट व्हिच इज सिमिलर एंड देन आई विल गेट टाइप कास्ट आई डोंट थिंक लाइक दैट आई मीन व्हाट इज टाइप कास्ट लेट्स डिफाइन टाइप कास्ट टाइप कास्ट इज व्हेन पीपल हैव आइडेंटिफाइड यू विद अ वर्क दैट यू हैव डन दैट दे रियली लाइक यू हैव मेड अ प्लेस इन देयर हार्ट सो दैट्स अ गुड थिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल you know mm-hmm. and now you make some wise decisions if you don't want to do the same thing you do something else but mm-hmm. people identifying you for a certain thing that you've done and liking you is is a good thing absolutely it's not mm-hmm. a bad thing it's very hard not everybody gets it not all actors get to experience this in their careers where where they've done a role or a film or a show or something which stays in people's hearts you know mm-hmm. there are millions and millions of things that come out every day and they're all pretty good uh mm. so one has to be grateful when when they get something like this it's a great thing for us to be recognized even after 10 years of having done whatever we have done in our lives and to still be recognized on the road i can understand yeah. in a room full of people okay acha you done permanent oh nice for very good but to walk on the road and still be recognized as nikesh or as tanya or as tanya's father i mean it just Oh, in different mind. countries. I mean, I've gone yeah. to Portugal, to Budapest, to like these. These are not your regular. Yeah, no, uh, it's not the London. With, no, it's not. It's not London, London New York, or, Dubai uh, type. Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> wahan pe you meet people and you know, and it's it's very very heartwarming it's when you meet heart. them yeah. there. And, uh, it, it's quite something. That's great. That's amazing. I think that's the best thing to hear. You know. कि आपका आपकी मेहनत यू नो समथिंग दैट यू वांट इवन पेड फॉर यू नो समथिंग दैट यू जस्ट वर्क्ड हार्ड बिकॉज़ यू फेल्ट लाइक इट यू नो यू फेल्ट यू नो योर गट फीलिंग सेड दैट ओके लिसन लिसन वी हैव डन अ लॉट ऑफ नॉट पेड फॉर वर्क या दैट्स राइट जस्ट पुटिंग इट आउट देयर दैट एक्चुअली इज द लॉट बट परमानेंट रूम पे स्टूड आउट नहीं नहीं बट सबको जानना चाहिए कि इट्स नॉट लाइक देयर इज नो कि ओ अब मैं ऐसे करूंगा तो ऐसे होगा लाइक इट्स नॉट दैट आई थिंक इट्स you know when you are being kind of led through your intuition rather yeah. than any mathematics and logistics you're just kind of you know you have the audacity i would say to kind of just 
go for it without it making sense i think that yeah a lot of people a lot of people do that i am doing it even till today what was your favorite moment what was your favorite scene or particular moment in all these three seasons so far life like a man cry like a bitch <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, 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 I love it, sir. Love it. I cannot forget that because we were shooting in a pipeline where we had three thousand, thirty thousand mosquito coils all around us. Smoke. We were coughing. We were, I don't know what was happening. And then uh, this man called Sumit Vyas comes in front of me and and speaks his lines and and he speaks it with such conviction that you have to laugh. And when you when you laugh, then you don't stop laughing. Then what do you do? Then you have to break. When you break, you come back. You still laugh. Yes. So I mean. It is. It was an incredible night, and it was so lovely. It was, it was so, an so lovely. Incredible night, yeah. Incredible, and we. I think you, me, and Apna. Uh, this fellow was there. Uh, Deepak. 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 Mishi was there. Ah, uh, Mishra ji was there. I mean, it was a laugh riot, yeah. Those guys were laughing. I was laughing. Sumit was not laughing because he was so convinced that he was speaking the lines correctly. and with conviction and he was also slightly drunk <laughs> yeah he was also slightly drunk yeah. he had alcohol actual alcohol there i mean it, it, was, it was one of those brilliant moments can be captured i can even see very vividly right now both of us standing in, in front of each other and oh man it was yeah it was so, so funny I, because this this so uh, was getting very worried Because I told them, get me real alcohol. Otherwise, I'll not get the feeling. I said, so have some fun. And uh, <laughs> and then he kept saying, as we kept doing multiple takes, he's like, he's. I think it's clearly overdoing it now. He needs to stop. Somebody Getting needs to drunk take with that every step. alcohol away from him and put some whatever <laughs> apple juice. And oh, then uh, and I I saw it. And then the next take, I tasted some apple juice. Like, who did this? <laughs> You know, who took the booze away? Don't don't like mess around my process. Like, get me get me the booze. Back. Method acting. I'm telling you, BTS must be short. Absolutely. What was your favorite part, Nidhi? I've had too many. I've had too many. I it'll be a crime to like label one. But <laughs> uh, and I'm a very easy laugh, by the way. Uh, so. To me, that had to really <laughs> tone himself down because I would go into splits of laughter. Like I get a laugh attack, then you have to wait for like six, seven minutes for it to subside, and then I'm like tearing up. Then there's a makeup touch-up, and you know all that fancy stuff. And uh, but it happens so often that I can't pinpoint one. It's just it's just absolutely beautiful. There's so many heart heartwarming moments as well, where you know the scene happens and you're like. How nicely written, and then it coming together, and then you know, like, wow! I remember the in the third season that scene where Sumit is talking about his father, and yeah. it's me and Shiba Ma'am and all of us. Every single take, every single take, we were bawling. Every single take, and we were just looking at each other, and we just knew that we are sung. This, this weird, this connection that has, because we could just. There was a pain that we could all feel, and you know, even our DP and our director and everyone was just so together. It was, and of course, Sumit was absolutely spectacular. Yeah, I remember uh, speaking to Sumit after that, and I told him, I said, "You were absolutely brilliant, astounding. What yeah. a performance that was uh, to give." And after we've seen Mikesh the way Mikesh is during the entire three seasons. and to see mikesh in that kind of a you know situation was the transformation the transition was absolutely brilliant brilliant is not the word uh, so and i think it a lot of credit to the writing as well writing uh, yeah absolutely absolutely the webha and shriya really poured their heart into it and especially you know coming to that scene and the way that entire journey of a person yes. kind of you know coming to terms and then and speaking also is, like the doing emotions. the third season of a show that has you know it's become a bit of a cult in the first web series and there's a lot of expectation from you yeah. when you're writing a script uh you know and we were also coming up for 6 7 years so uh, they they were under also webhav and shreya by the way are massive fans of this sumit uh, knows this 
because yes. they wrote the ikea scripts as well remember which sumit yes, directed yes. Yes. and uh, they were discussing with us that we are such huge fans of bisupati that we are you know shivering that we are going to uh, like put out a script which is actually original yeah. his baby so they really took it with a lot of humility that responsibility they were very grounded mm-hmm. about it and they were very they were understanding of the gravity of it and the responsibility and i think that's why you see such pure writing like i know i mean yeah. i don't know i don't really i'm not much about numbers or whatever but uh, the season 3 is my uh, one of the favorite seasons of my mom yeah no and it is really connected with so many people and yeah. and it was also i felt you know that there is a general goodness on this show and and the kind of people it attracts you know like this time around we had uh, sherry directing it we had new writers we had a new dop you know the entire team was new except for uh, shishir sir me nidhi and shiba and uh, aisha ji the core cast uh, hmm. sachin bilgaonkar ji yes. played a part in this one he yeah, added but yeah, yeah. Uh, which just uh, you know it just attracts good people uh, and and then it just uh, translates into the show like sherry sriyanj uh, our director Uh, I mean, a lot of credit goes to him. He is so patient, and he he's incredible. His energy, and he's not trying to prove a point, or he's not trying to impress no one. He's simply and very, very honestly trying to tell the story as it should be told. It didn't like he didn't treat it like oh, this is going to be my first directorial thing, so I have to. मुझे सिर्फ आग लगा देनी है और मैंने यहाँ से नीचे से निकाल के ऊपर से कैमरा लगा. वो सब हाँ, वो सब वो सब नहीं किया उसने और बहुत ईमानदारी से उसने डायरेक्ट किया उसको द चॉइसेस ही मेड विद एडिट चॉइसेस एंड दिस वाज म्यूजिक चॉइसेस हिज डेब्यू डेफिनेटली डायरेक्टोरियल एंड व्हाट एन इनक्रेडिबल एटमॉस्फेयर ही क्रिएटेड ऑन सेट सुपर्ब या व्हेदर आई मीन द सीन दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वेयर यू नो द मिकेश हैज द सोल मेल्टडाउन और समथिंग एंड आई टोल्ड हिम आई डोंट थिंक विल बी एबल टू डू इट मल्टीपल नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स बिकॉज़ आई we do it once and then i'll give it my all so just see if we can capture it in that guy in that stage and they were very the entire set was so sensitive about it and you know and all yeah, of that same. credit goes to the goes director to the yeah the entire team like even in season 1 same thing when tanya has that same. meltdown while watching mikesh's i mean the entire set was so aware that you know this scene is like everybody was Talk not usually on a set. Hmm. An actor is very isolated, preserving his or her energy because you are supposed to deliver that scene. It's yeah. your responsibility. The rest of the set will function as it's supposed to, and I think it's fair. Yeah. Obviously, everybody's not. But this set, it's just it spoils you, you know, because everybody's so aware. So everybody's like talking soft. It's who does that? What a luxury that is. I think yeah. there was a lot of and, positive energy on the set, and there was. no negativity at all whatsoever from anyone whether it be the light man spot boy the camera assistant yeah, yeah, yeah. nobody nobody everybody was so geared up to doing a season and following it up uh, so brilliantly after the first two seasons and everybody knew that we are doing the third season after 6 years yes so we have to be there on on it right from the word go there is no relaxation there is no laxity there at all whatsoever so all of us were so geared first of all it was coming up to 6 years second of all we all wanted more and more and more yes. to be you know served on our plates so yes i think it was uh, one of those uh, uh shows where positivity was of prime importance and it was there and i think that's all what resulted in permanent roommates becoming one of the most successful shows that it is remember even after 10 years yes absolutely absolutely so yeah. that's all from my side thank you so much guys for, for connecting thank with you. me this time this thank is vanchika singh vanchika. signing off thank, thank you thank you vanchika it was great talking happy, to you happy, guys happy, happy, yeah happy great talking happy to you same to you happy diwali everyone happy diwali happy diwali, happy diwali. <laughs> bye, bye.